Chris Cantrell from Bear Country Outdoors. We have uh, some loophole gold ring scopes in front of us here. And uh, we're gonna start out with the uh, VX3 HD. This is their new uh, HD line. It has a CDS turret on it. So their CDS turrets, you, you get one for free. Um, so you can dial these in specifically to your load for your rifle. This one's gonna go on a 308. We're gonna work up a 168 grain load. You send them in all your information, they send you a turret back with your yardages on it. It's very, very easy, very nice scope. The next one, we have a VX5 HD, and this one has a little bit bigger main tube. This is a one inch main tube, this is a 30 mil main tube, and this is their uh, three to 15 by 44. It's one of the most lightweight scopes you can get in that magnification. It's an excellent bang for your buck at 19.7 ounces. Uh, it's pretty tough to beat. This one is their VX6 HD, and it has their new turret on it. It's the uh, TZ L3, and it looks a little different. It sits a little more proud. It's got more elevation range, so long range hunters, like myself and the guys from Bear Country, uh, we use this a lot on some of our hunt in Montana where it's a little more open if you're gonna take a longer shot. Um, all of these are, are great long range scopes, um, but I really, really like this turret. It works really well. I've used it on a bunch of hunts all over the Western states. And uh, again, just a great scope, highly recommend. Okay, we're gonna start off with the uh, new VX3 HD. So what they've done here with this scope is they have added a, a CDS ZL turret, which is uh, ZL's their zero lock. So why do you want a zero lock? What happens is, is when you go to dial in your elevation, uh, you know exactly how far you have turned your turret and then when you get back in the truck, say for instance, if you took a three or four thousand yard shot, you know exactly when you're back to zero. There's no guessing when you're turning your turret up and down, which I'm sure everyone who's shot long distance has noticed that, you know, if you don't have a zero lock, you really don't know where you're at. So that, you can hear that audible click. It physically locks into place and you can't move it. Uh, they have a quarter minute uh, adjustment on here. So roughly at 100 yards, each click is a quarter inch. What I like about this scope is they, they have, it's a, it's a one inch tube and they have a 50 millimeter bell. This is, this is great glass. If you're, if you're a long time hunter, if you're getting into hunting, this is for the price, it's very feature rich. Now, it's a, this is a four and a half to 14 power, 50 millimeter bell. Now when we're moving up, we have a VX5 HD. Now on this scope, it has the same zero lock turret. It has the same quarter minute adjustment, uh, but you'll notice on the side, it has another dial here. Now this is your parallax adjustment. So when you dial in your long range, you're gonna notice it's gonna be slightly out of focus. And so it has numbers on the side here to where you can dial in your focus on this. Now, this is a slightly larger main tube. It's 30 millimeters. This is gonna have a little higher power and a little wider range. So with the VX3 HD, the VX5 HD, and the VX6 HD, what those numbers stand for, the three, the five, and the six, is the optical magnification. So this is a three times scope. So it's three times the power. So with this being a five, it's gonna be, the, the bottom's gonna be a three power, the top's gonna be a 15. Uh, super, super lightweight scope. All of these scopes uh, made in America, very, high-end machining, uh, the tolerances are incredible. When you buy the, a nice set of scope rings, they fit perfectly, you'll never get any slop, they don't slide. Um, moving on to the VX6 HD, they have their brand new turret on here, which is their TZL3. If you notice that it's a little bit taller than the other turrets, uh, it has a little window on the bottom here and on that window, you can see how many times that you rotated your turret. So you're getting extra adjustment out of this. This one's gonna have a larger main tube. It's a 34 millimeter main tube. It has a 52 millimeter bell, and this is gonna have a higher optical range. Since it's a VX6, it has a four to 24. So 24 being the top power. So if you're gonna shoot long range, you can, you can shoot long range with this scope, but if you want more power, you can move up through the ranks and have an a four to 24. It's a really, really good hunting range. It still has a very low end magnification. So if you're hunting in the woods, 
say, you know, you're taking 50, 75 yard shots, but there's no reason you can't shoot this scope a mile as well, and which, which we do. So we have this uh, BX5 here, and we have the same scope, the BX6, on this 28 nozzler, and we've shot this well over a mile, um, and, and no problems in Vinted 24 power. Again, it helps with the parallax on the side. Now, if you'll notice on this one, the buttons are slightly different on the side. So that's a solid aluminum cap there. And this one actually depresses and you put a uh, battery in here and this has a lighted reticle as well, which is really, really nice. All right guys, so in conclusion, we have the new VX3 HD. We're really looking forward to shooting this. We have shot, we've taken uh, both of these other scopes on hunts. They're very, very rugged. We're really hard on our stuff. Uh, we've literally ran over uh, a scope with a truck before on accident. But uh, with this new CDS dial with the zero lock, it's gonna be a fantastic scope. There's no reason that you can put this on any gun you own and go in the woods tomorrow. And I uh, just wanna thank, thank Leopold for sending this out. And uh, I'm Chris Cantrell from Bear Country Outdoors. We'll see you next time.